Hi guys, this is Shah here, the tech blog, and today we're going to be doing about vectors. And yeah, it's a particularly nice topic because you can get five to six marks on the last. Cause this is generally the last question, and it's one of the hard ones, but many of them are pretty easy. And I'll explain to you in this video. So let's begin begin with this. So just go and screen sketch. All right. So now we need to uh, express O M in terms of A and B. So O to M is half of O to G. So O to G is minus A plus B. So minus A plus B. And you divide that by 2 and you get that. That's all it is. Alright. Now for the next bit. Right. Alright. Okay. Express PM in terms of A and B. So PM. Well we know that O to M is minus A plus B divided by 2. So we need to we need to go minus a and pl uh, minus a plus b. So minus a plus minus a plus b over two. So that just goes away. And if you simplify that, a becomes minus a minus a over two plus b over two. And imagine the minus a it was same. Th it's the same thing as minus two a over two. So minus two a minus a is minus three a over two plus b over 2 and that's what it would simplify to right next question okay number 2 all right let's find a b in terms of a and b so a b is there to there so minus 2a plus 3b so it's minus 2a plus 3b because we have to go opposite of this direction where this is that way this is that way so we take the normal 3b all right all right okay This is where it gets a little harder. Here's the point on AB such that AP to a PB is 2 to 3. Show that OP is parallel to the vector A plus B. So we need to find O to P. How can you get from O to P? Well, we can go O to A, then A to P. So we know that A to B is minus 2A plus 3B. Right? So we need to go 2 thirds of that. So 2 thirds. I mean, no, 2 fifths. 2 plus 3 is 5. So 2 fifths of minus 2A plus 3B. And we have to add that on to the 2a that already exists, which becomes, let me write over here, 2a plus, well, it becomes minus because there's a minus sign here, so minus 4a over 5 plus 6b over 5, alright? And then we have to uh, simplify that, so 2a is the same thing as having 10a over 5, so same denominator. 10a minus 4a is 6a over 5 plus 6b over 5 and we have to prove that it's uh, parallel to a plus b so it's the same thing as writing a fifth of 6a plus 6b we can simplify that further so 6 over 5 a plus b and as you can see it's parallel because it has a plus b inside it all right so next question question three uh, all right all right find bd in terms of a and b so bd is that way so it's minus a plus b so minus a plus b find op in terms of a and b we're given the ratio one to three so op is from there to there and how can you get there we can go from there to there and then there to there All right so o to b is a and then we have to add that on to uh, three quarters of of bd which three quarters of bd is minus a plus b right and so we have to simplify that again so a minus 3a over 4 plus 3b over 4 and that simplifies to a is the same thing as writing 4a over 4 as i've told you earlier that simplifies to a over 4 plus 3b over 4 that's all it is and you get full marks just for that and you can factorize that further as well if you wanted to all right next question we need to find bd uh, well, we first have to do all these bits. So O A is four is four A. So O A is four A, and O B is four B, four B. All right. O O A D O B Y and B Z are all straight lines. A D is equal to two O A. So two times O A is is A D. A D is equal to two O A. So this that means this is eight A because it's two times that. <coughs> And bz to zd is equal to a third, one, one to three. So bz 
to z d is a third uh, one of one three so this is a quarter and this is three quarters right so when you find b d well how can you get from b to d you have to go minus four b and plus twelve a so minus four b plus twelve a a to z is a to z is there to there so how can you get from a to z well we can go z we can go from a to d and d to z z and we know that d to b or we can go from b to o o to a and a to z I mean B to O and O to A. So what we can do is we can O we can go A to D and D to Z. So it's better to go D to Z. I mean it's better to go uh, uh D to uh B to Z actually. So we go from A to A to O to B and B to Z. And we know that it's a quarter of that. So a quarter of minus four B plus two twelve A is same thing as as three A minus B, right? So so B to Z is that. That's b to z, right? So if we know b to z is, is equal to three a minus b, we have to go from uh, we have to go from minus four a, I mean plus four a, four a plus four b plus three a minus b. So that simplifies to seven a plus three b. So this is seven a plus three b. So it says given that b y is equal to eight b, show that a z y is a straight line. B y is there to there, so there to there is eight b. Show that a z y is a straight line. So we have to we have to show what a z y is as a in terms of uh, a and b. So a z y, how can you get from a to y? Well, we can go from a to o to b to z, and we know that that's already seven a plus three b. So we need to go from either a to y or z to y. So we'll go from z to y. We can do that by going down and that way. So opposite of three a minus b is minus three a plus b. So just switch the signs. Then just add 8b to that, and you get minus uh, 9b minus 3a, as you can see that. And as you can see, if you factorize that, you can get 9, uh, I mean 3, 3b minus a, which is over here as well. Oh, okay, wrong way around. X, uh, vice versa. And so if, if the base if the base values are the same, if a to z and z to y both have a and b inside them, and they're scalar multiples, so mention scalar quantities, then you get good marks if you mention scalar quantities. Alright, so next question. <coughs> right, um, find the vector Px in terms of a and b. So Px is from there to there. Well, Px is going from there to there. So it's just minus 3b. Show that n and z is a straight line. So n and z. So we'll go from n to m first. So n to m is going that. And that so minus 2b plus a so that's minus 2 plus it <coughs> now we'll go from m to z and how can you go from m to z well we can go there and there uh, simply so y to z, uh, m to y is halfway of the of all of uh, uh, p to y so p to y p to y is minus 3b plus a so that means p to m would be uh, minus 3b plus a over 2 so same thing so m to y would be the same thing as that <coughs> and since we know that this is minus 3b plus a over 2 we have to add uh, uh, xy is uh, same as yz as you can see y is the midpoint of xz and we know that uh, sorry about that xy is a so this is also a so we need to do a minus 3b over 2 plus a over 2 same thing as 2a over 2 so 3a over 2 minus 3b over 2 as you can see they both have a minus b inside them if you factorize it and now we have to find m to z uh, i mean we've already found m to z so it's a minus b and if you factorize that you get a minus b2 n to m again is minus 2b plus uh minus 2b plus a so as you can see that's over here if you factorize that you get the same and do do mention scalar quantities as you, as you tend to get more marks if you mention that because that's what uh, signifies that it's a straight line <coughs> right next question question six all right find vector x y in terms of a and b so x to y is minus a plus b Show that OP is equal to a fifth of 2A, so we just need to go from O to P. 
So we can go there and go down. So we know x to y is uh, minus a plus b. x to p is 3 fifths of that. So 3 fifths of minus a plus b. And add that on to the a. So if we simplify that, we have minus 3a over 5 plus 3b over 5 plus a. Then we can make the a into the same thing. So 5a over 5. That simplifies to 2a over 5 plus 3b over 5. And if you simplify a fifth from that, then you get 2a plus 3b. <coughs> so as you can see, it's very simple. Um, and these these are the ones that give you good marks, or so 5 marks for total, or 4 marks. Alright, so let's uh, head on to the next question. Uh, MB is uh, going from there to there. But we know that if this is, if this, if all A is A, so is this A. So it's just A over 2. MP is going from there to there. Well, you know that that way is C. So this way it would be minus half C. And M to B is A over 2. So A over 2 minus C over 2. So this way, this is also C. So show that C A is parallel to MP. So C to A is there to there. C to A is the same thing as minus C plus A. So minus C plus A. If you factorize that, you get half. Uh, a minus C, which is the same thing as minus C plus A. Alright, question 8. Uh, express the vector AB in terms of A and B. So AB is just 2A plus B. Oh, I'm sorry, minus, don't forget the signs are opposite. So minus 2A minus B plus 4A plus 3B. And that simplifies to 2A plus 2B. And you can factorize that A plus B like that. Right, next question, guys. Uh, express the vector OC in terms of A and B. So OC is going from there to there. So we can go from O to A and then A to C. It tells us that C to B, is, which is there to there, and Y to Z, CB to Y to Z. So what CB to Y to Z is equal to 2 to 3. All right. Okay. Uh, so we need to uh, find express the vector OC in terms of A and B. So how can we get from O to C? Well, I said that we can go from O to A to A to C, or we can go from O to B to B to C. Well, before we do anything, let's just uh, find A B. All right. So let's do that. Uh, C to B. So let's find A to B first. Uh, so A to B. Or B to A to B would be going uh, would be minus two A minus B uh, plus four A plus three B two A plus two B is what this would be. All right, one minute. I think it's using a, a part from this question. That's why we're not able to do it. Or, or does it? Um, A B C is a straight line. C B to Y Z. C B to Y Z. Alright, let me just scroll up a little. CB to YZ, I don't see any YZ. It mentions YZ, ah, but there's no YZ on this. CB to YZ, but there's no YZ on this question. Uh, express the vector OC in terms of A and B. Uh, I'll get back to you this in this in a while. Uh, so guys, I have, I have so solved the question earlier uh, but I'm gonna show you how to do it later on in, in my future videos and so let's just get on with it without any uh, hesitation uh, we just have to express y, w to y so w to y is there to there so we just go plus q plus q plus p and x to z is going from there to there which is there to there but we know that this is q and that's p so it's Q minus P. Alright, next question. Alright. WX and XZ are diagonals of parallelogram WXYZ. WXYZ. Express WY and XZ are uh, intersector R. <coughs> Express WR in terms of P and Q. WR is going from there to there. Well, we need to find W to Y first. So W to Y, as we mentioned earlier, was Q plus P. So it's just P, Q plus P over 2. And that's your answer. 
Alright, so question 10. One of the last questions now. Find x, y in terms of a and b. So x to y in terms of a and b is minus 2a plus 3b. Alright, p is the point on x, y such that x to p from there to there is 2 fifths and this to this is 3 fifths. Show that OP is parallel to the vector A plus B. So OP is there to there. We can go from there and then go down. So 2A plus, so 2 fifths of minus 2A plus 3B. If we simplify that over here, then it's 2A minus 4A over 5 plus 6B over 5. And as you notice, this is the same thing as writing 10A over 5. Then that simplifies to 6A over 5 plus 6B over 5 which in the end comes out to be 6 fifths of a plus b and that's the answer all right next question uh yep yeah, question 11. all right we need to find the scalar quantity now th these are the slightly harder grade 9 type questions um, give them the m and c straight line find the value of k so we need to find m to n to c where we know o2a is uh, 6a o2a is 6a o2b is 6b all right 6b and a to a, a to b is half a to b is is equal to b to c because it, it, it says that b is the midpoint of ac so and we m to a is 3a then we have to add on a b and a b is equal to a b is equal to minus 6a plus 6b so minus 6a plus 6b so 6b minus 6a and then we have to go another minus plus 6b minus 6a, so plus 6b minus 6a. And that all simplifies to 3a minus 6a is minus, uh, minus 3a. Minus 3a minus 6a is minus 9a. Plus 6b plus 6b makes 12b. And that's what it simplifies to. And now we want to find uh, m to n. And m to n is minus 3a. And o to, o to n is kb. So minus 3a plus kb and that's what oh, m2n is so minus 3a plus kb and minus 9a plus 12b as you can see we can multiply all this by 3 to get that if we multiply minus 3a by 3 you get minus 9a and if we multiply kb you get uh, 12b so if you do 12 divided by 3 you get 4 and so the value of k is 4 all right and let's we're approaching the last question now all right Uh, in triangle ABC, N, M is the midpoint of AC, N is the point on BC, where BN to, B, BN to NC, so BN, B to N is 2 fifths, and N to C is 3 fifths. AC is equal to 2A, and AB is equal to 3B. Okay, All right. work out MN in terms of NB. So M, MN is from there to there. How can you get from there to there? Well, we know that M is the midpoint of AC, so you can say that M to C is equal to A. Alright, okay. And then we want to go C to N, so we need to find C to B. So C to B is minus, two, minus 2A two plus 3B. Alright, and C to N would be, would be uh, 3 fifths of that. Uh, so 3 fifths, so add on 3 fifths. So add on 3 fifths of minus 2a plus 3b, so 3 fifths of minus 2a plus 3b, which simplifies to a plus minus 6a over 5, so that goes away, plus, and this is a 3, so 9b over 5, which is the same thing, right, 5a over 5, which simplifies to 9b over 5 minus a over 5, and that also can be simplified further, a fifth of 9b minus a, and that's your answer for mn. So you can go from m to c, which is a, and then c to n, which is 3 fifths of uh, minus 2a plus 3b. And then you can write it in decimal format if you find it easier. But that's it, guys, in this video. Oh, okay, it seems like it's a question. Use your answer to part a to explain why mn is not parallel to ab. Well, for uh, for the answer, we got minus 9a plus b when we factorized it, simplified it. And AB is actually, as you can see over here, it says it's 3B. And since AB has only only a B value and MN has an A and B value, they're not scalar quantities, which means that they are not parallel. And men mention scalar quantities, as I always say. And that will do for me in this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. So like, comment.